welcome guys so we are in my computer now and i'm going to show you exactly how to use the snipping tool basically the snipping tool is used to take a screenshot of whatsoever you have on a computer so for instance let's say you are reading a book and you have an interesting thing in a book let me use this particular part this particular rectangle that we see here as the part of interest so i want to take a screenshot of this and probably use it for something else or send it out to my friends on whatsapp that is i'm able to take it out as an image in such a situation that is where you need to make use of the snipping tool so to bring up the snipping tool just click your windows key that is to your start button then type in snipping s n i p p i okay so here you are this is the snipping tool with this scissors and a white with a white over with a red boundary double click it to open so this is the snipping tool as it is open here for you to be able to take the screenshot, you click new. But there are various shapes that we can take. And this drop down here leads us to the various shapes that we can do. So we can take a free form snip. That is you creating the shape that you want. So for instance, if I choose that particular one, then I have to rule out what size I want, maybe what I want to take. You can see how messy it is uh, you need a lot more coordination to be able to use it so this is what i was able to take using the free form if i don't want this and probably i want something else uh, let's see the next one is the rectangular snake that's usually perfect for such a job where i just need to drag it to draw a rectangle over so as you can see, I've taken a rectangle of a rectangular shape of what I am looking for. If I still do not want this, I can use the next option, which is the window snip. So for the window snip, it's going to take everything on my screen, as in the window that I've opened right now, which happens to be my faucet reader. So it's going to take a snapshot of the faucet reader by just clicking. So as you can see, this is a snapshot of the forces reader that I am using. If I also still do not want this, then I can choose the last option, which happens to be the full screen. So for the full screen, it means to take everything on the screen. That's everything that's on the screen. It's some kind of similar to the window screen, the window snip, except that for the window snip, if your window is minimized it will take it just as the minimizer but if it is maximized then you may get it as this one personally i prefer to use the rectangular shape most of the time so let's just take that of the rectangular shape and take a snip of this then show you how you are able to save it so to save this it has already taken the snip so to save it you go to file then save as so go to file then save as so choose the location where you want to save the file i prefer to save it in my folder the pictures folder then you name it a file name so let me call it my new snip one then for the type we have the PNG type, you can also save it as GIF, you can save it as JPEG and single file HTML. I prefer the PNG because mostly the size is very small. So you just hit save to save it. And that's all, the snip has been saved. Let's quickly check where it has been saved, if it is there. Remember the name, the name was new snip one so new session for new snip one exactly here is new snip one so this is coming up 
Okay, so this is the result of what we did. I've just been able to take a screenshot out of the book that I was reading and I can share this via all social media platforms. I can share it to anybody or I can put it in any document. If I write in a document and I feel lazy typing this out, I can just take this as I have taken a snip off and insert it directly into the document. So this is the main use of the snipping tool and as you've seen you can use it to take snip of anything at all for instance i have a video opened here i can decide to take let's say you're watching a video and there is something interesting in the video that you want to take over here it's just my face in the video so to take a snip of what is in your video you still search for your snipping tool by typing it out then selecting it this is your snipping tool okay so for new uh, we didn't cancel this one let's talk on okay so for new i've selected a rectangular one so that i can take all right so this is a picture that i've taken from the video you can save it and use it for whatever thing you want to do thank you